Hi there, Sagittarius. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, and we're looking at November 2nd through November 8th. And this week there is a changing of the guards. Venus, the goddess of love, moves out of Mars, where she's been for a long time, and Mars moves out of Virgo as well next week. Now, Virgo is your 10th house of career and ambition. So I'm sure that your work has been a lot more demanding over the last couple of weeks. And that for those of you who have wanted to make strides forward, it was a lot of hard work. You probably worked harder in the last month than you have all year. And at times you felt like you were, you know, pushing uh, a mountain uphill and it was crumbling back down like a landslide, you know, trying to fix it. And you may have also found you've got some really good allies in the workplace that you didn't realize you have or that you're better at handling workplace drama than you gave yourself credit for. So, you know, maybe you've got a nice surprise about how you handled things. Whatever the case, things are shifting. And on Sunday, Venus, the, the planet of love and the people planet, moves into your 11th house of hopes, dreams, wishes and friendship. It's a great time over the next month or so to really establish whether or not you want to go into business with a friend, whether or not a friend is a friend or a frenemy. You may find something out that changes your mind somewhat about somebody or you may realize that, you know, you have, you've been friends, but whether or not you're friends now right, you know, you could be in competition in some way. And while it's upsetting, it's also it's always good to know who are your friends and who are your frenemies because, of course, they're completely different things. Now, next week, there's a new moon in Scorpio, your 12th house of past karma and self-renewal. What is it that you would like to be able to let go of, the vestiges of a relationship, a job, a friendship, you know, um, a living situation, maybe a dog or a cat that you had to give away and that you've been struggling with or upset about ever since or, you know, money worries where you've maybe had to sell your car or some, sell something valuable to you so that you could pay off your bills. It, it, it's a really good time for you to start thinking about how to accept what have, had to be done, which you're very good at doing, and working towards closure on it and working towards seeing the reasoning behind it. Later in November, on the 25th, there's a full moon in your relationship zone. So this relationship business about friends and frenemies is going to be a constant throughout November. And by the 25th, you're going to know who you need to delete out of your mobile phone. So have a wonderful week. Great speaking to you. I do look forward to speaking to you again next week and be kind to yourself.